I am creating a new DWC bucket. I need one with my three inch net cups that will hold the click and grow pods here. So I am just laying them out to make sure that six will fit comfortably. It's just for lettuce, so this will be fine. So I'm going to lay these out, mark them, and then use my three inch hole saw to cut out the holes. Root-bound lettuce going into a new home. This is the leaf mustard that was in the back. I noticed this plant was starting to suffer yellowing leaves, which means it's not getting enough nutrients. That looks like a few plants in there. But look at those roots, really, really bent. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to pop it in the same place after I remove these yellowing leaves. This tub is filled with about a gallon and a half of water and a teaspoon of maxi grow. Red kale, same deal, bound roots. But again, you can save these plants. I'm hoping I can save this one because it got chopped kind of hard. We will see. So they are all set, tucked over here in my little cracky corner. And when we look in here in a few days, we're going to see those roots start to emerge from the net cups and spread out. And the plants are going to thrive. Here's one and two inch net cups. Look at those roots. These seeds were moved in here or seedlings. I don't remember exactly when but they are absolutely beautiful and thriving. Same over here. Look at those fuzzy air roots. The roots are displaying a little brown just from nutrient staining. I mentioned in my previous video, I said that once I reached the end here, meaning week five is flashing because I need to add water, um, that I was gonna start experimenting. So what I have just done is I took all of the veggies that were in the row here and I moved them to this cracky tub that I just created up here so the roots will have space to grow down into the net cups which we'll check on in a few days and they will continue to grow and thrive and not be root bound so back over here I still have all of these and you will see what I mean about getting a little root down but in this row here, I'm going to decide what to plant. I could put the same thing in there again that's already labeled, um, or I can put something new. I do have some of the empty click and grow um, experimental pods is what they call them. Basically a grow anything pod that you add your own seeds to. So I'm gonna think about it and see what to put in there. I'm actually thinking maybe some um, spinach. I had good luck germinating spinach in the click and grow before, not in their pods, but in cocoa core. But I might try it here in some of the pods and see how it goes. So I will keep you updated. So I have lost count. It has been either seven or eight weeks with my click and grow 25. As you can see, plants still look fantastic. Um, as mentioned, 
I moved some. And so we're gonna check on those. These here are ready to be used or moved. Not quite as bad as the other one was, but let me show you what I did. First, I, um, I, I moved around things. Um, I put another mustard in here, which will germinate soon. They're really fast. I think I just put it in there last night. These are what they are as labeled. Another green lettuce, romaine, romaine, red kale, and leaf mustard. That one was obviously started first. So actually what I should do is swap these out. I'll do that in a moment. But let me show you where I moved my planchion. This is my little cracky tub section over here. Let me get on my step ladder. These were plants already here in cracky that were moved from somewhere else. These were moved from my arrow garden. They're gorgeous. And these are the ones moved from the click and grow. So I showed you previously what the root bound um, pot looks like when it's in the click and grow 25. But by putting it in a three inch net cup in cracky, that gave the roots room to continue growing and spread. Look at that. So the roots are reaching down into the nutrient solution and forming beautiful air roots. Now these plants will keep going. The lettuce um, won't last as long as the others because lettuce eventually starts to bolt. I'm gonna raise my light a little bit now that these plants are bigger. The mustard I anticipate will last for a long while. The kale will last for a long while. Um, yeah, so I'm happy. If I had many more of these tubs, <laughs> that I could just continue to move plants. And I do have more. I just need to find the space for them. Um, so yeah, that's an option. Another option is using a jar like this here, a cracky jar with a three inch net cup or a bucket like that one. That's obviously a pepper plant, but you could do the same thing there. So even though this unit seems to only be able to hold on to the plants for about seven weeks or so before the growth gets stunted you do not have to trash your plants you can eat them obviously or you can move them to a different type of system that does not have the closed in pot and still continue eating on them so um i'm gonna see what i decide to do with those i may squeeze in a tub somewhere like if i get rid of this system here which i'm not loving right now more on that later i could possibly put a tub right there we will see so that's it for now just a short video to update you on that and i'll probably from now on just do maybe shorts unless something major happens um, about when these sprout and how i'm liking it so far so good though This is just a quick update on the plants that I moved from my Click and Grow 25 in this cracky tub over here. It's been nine days, so let's check on how the roots look now. Absolutely gorgeous, perfect cracky roots. And as you can see, the plants are huge and beautiful. So it is totally possible to save those plants and have them keep growing if you have the space. 